Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Two Amhara leaders have been shot dead in Raya Alamata. One is a Warida administrator. What happened? Who killed him? Is a uh, TDF responsible for this death? Is ENDF behind this killing? Was there exchange of gunfire? Did these two leaders uh, try to resist? The entry of Tigray forces. Did they try to put up a fight against ENDF Tigray forces? Details in this video. Raya Alamata. Since yesterday, I've been briefing you about rapidly evolving situation in Raya Alamata. Amhara forces yesterday largely withdrew from Raya Alamata. They withdrew from Alamata Koram. And now they are uh, deployed to the border, Raya to Volo border. Ethiopian National Defense Force yesterday facilitated the entry of Tegarai fighters into Raya Lamata. Were they Tegarai fighters or IDPs? People say, Saji, they are IDPs. They are returned to their homes. You are just fueling conflicts. They are not IDPs because there was exchange of gunfire. IDPs are not supposed to be armed. So they were definitely Tigray militia members uh, who managed to make advances into Ralamata because ENDF backed them. Amhara um, militia members in Ralamata uh, were overwhelmed by Tigray fighters by ENDF. They had to retreat. And it was confirmed just last night that they were retreating. During this retreat, two Amhara leaders were shot dead. Who are they? Where were they killed? Who killed them? Two deaths confirmed. So what top level deaths? I'm talking about senior level Amhara leaders. I'm not talking about civilians. There could be some civilian casualties too. We don't know how many, but people, Amhara people are fleeing now. Uh, towards uh, Kobo from Elamata Koram, though, or Tigrayan authorities are issuing statements uh, asking Amhara residents to stay. They're saying that uh, you won't be harmed, you can stay, you can live here. But uh, Amhara people fear retaliation, they fear attacks by Tigray, uh, Tigray fighters, so they're fleeing. Uh, so, one set of IDPs. Is returning to Raya Mata Koram from Tegarai. Another set of residents of Raya Mata is turning into IDPs, Amharas, displaced. How many? Uh, difficult to say, but people have been seeing fleeing towards Kobo. These two Amhara leaders, others, they were also fleeing towards Volo when they were shot dead. Were they shot dead or was there exchange of gunfire? Difficult to say. We are not in a position to give final opinion here. Mola Derbio has been killed. Mola was working as chief administrator of uh, Alamata Vareda. I am talking about Vareda, not city. City was led by uh, Hailu Abira who was working as mayor. City has four cabalets. What other means district? It's a larger area. Mola Derbio was working as uh, administrator. And uh, Mola Derbio, uh, then uh, Hailu Abira and uh, Haftamo Pento, these are Fanta, these are main people. These were main people in Raya Mata. Uh, and you can say they were in charge of the Amhara provisional government in Raya Mata. This provisional government has been dismantled. Why? Because the leaders have fled. Some were killed, some have fled. Hailu Abira confirmed his uh, fleeing towards Volo. He was interviewed by some sources. Mola was also fleeing. But Around 5 kilometers away from Alamata city, there was exchange of gunfire between Mola Derbio and Ethiopian National Defense Force. Mola Derbio was accompanied by others too and Mola Derbio was shot dead.
it the incident happened around 5 kilometers away from Alamata city in a place called Air Marafia. Air Marafia, around 5 kilometers away from Alamata city. So, there, uh, Mola Derbio was killed and another Amhara leader was killed too. His name is uh, Haftamo Penta. Haftamo in the past worked as a teacher, a lecturer at Debrettebo University. But now he was working as chief organizer of uh, Amhara Identity Restoration Committee for Alamata. He was also main man. Both were killed yesterday. Who killed them? We don't know. We don't want to spread any rumors. But where they were killed, Tegarai fighters did not manage to reach there. I don't think that Tegarai fighters were there. In uh, Ayer Marefia. No. Ethiopian National Defense Force was deployed. Either ENDF just shot them dead, or there was exchange of gunfire, or they attacked ENDF. Difficult to say. We don't want to spread any unverified information. Their death is being confirmed. Now, question viewers is uh, what will be the impact of uh, the death of two top uh, leaders of Amhara group in Ralamata? Obviously, the anti government elements will use these deaths as uh, a tool to rally public support against the government. Pano group so far did not announce any mobilization of its fighters towards Raya Mata. Either they are not in opposition to march or they don't want to fight against Tegaraya Raya forces. We need to monitor two things in coming hours now. Firstly, mobilization of Pano fighters. Are Pano militia members going to be uh, mobilized towards Raya Mata, towards uh, Orom, etc., or not. So far, no mobilization, no movement is ongoing, no announcement by Fano militia members. Yes, uh, I talk to the people and they say that uh, Fano people, they, they are uh, condemning what happened in Raya Mata, but no announcement of any action so far from them, no, no response in terms of counter offences. Second thing to be monitored is about the movement of Tegaraya forces, the administration. What is ENDF's plan? Does it want to be the sole administrator in Raya Mata while Amhara administration has been dismantled, Amhara forces expelled? Will it allow Tegaraya fighters to take control of entire Raya Mata and Facilitate return of uh, IDPs, hand over the territory to Tegarai. Or will it just facilitate the return of IDPs from Tegarai and it will take over as the main force here? Tegarai fighters uh, wouldn't be allowed to, to be in charge here. And then ENDF will implement the other provisions of the understanding. Between the two sides, like election of administration, like holding of a random. So, I think we'll have to wait to see what is ENDF's plan. Uh, it's too early to conclude. People say that uh, Ethiopian military of PMRB is supporting Tegarai in taking over Raya Mata, or Amafla, etc., and uh, PMRB wants to appease TPLF as. TPLF is building pressure upon the Ethiopian government and that maybe Fano is weak. That is why Fano is not in a position to respond. I think all these conclusions are too early to be uh, reached. Let's wait. I think deaths of Mola Derbio and Haftamo uh, are 
major developments in the Isla Mata. Displacements as well. It means that Ethiopian National Defense Force definitely back Tigray fighters. Next question is being asked about Volkayat. Will ENDF similarly back Tigray fighters there too and help Tigray fighters cross Tigray to take control of Umara Volkayat? I said in last night's live chat that this model is difficult to be emulated in Umara Volkayat. And by the way, uh, will the government of Yamabi agree to hand over Humaira Volkai Sagade to Tigray, allowing Tigray to connect with outside world, with Sudan? That remains to be seen so far. Very rapidly evolving situation in Raya Mata, where it seems that Tigray is going to retake territories. Why? Because Amharas are going to flee. They're fleeing. Tigrayans will return. They'll be in majority. Even if referendum is held, uh, Tigrayans will vote in support of becoming part of uh, uh, Tigray region. The region, the zone will become part of Tigray. That is why it seems that uh, Tigray has managed to take back Raya Lamata. Though uh, the process might uh, just continue uh, regarding election of administrators and holding of referendum. Let's see. Thank you for watching.